Hey guys, so let's just keep going. Let's, um, we are almost done with this everlasting, mini everlasting mini album and I will link the templates and I will link the playlist below in the description box. Um, but, but last video we did the side uh, or the inside pockets of the cover uh, inserts and they turned out super cute. So I thought we would just start I just thought we should just start, just keep going. That's what I thought. <laughs> um, so I started to look at, you know, the different things inside this album. And, you know, I'm getting ideas for this and that and whatever. So I just thought, well, just start at the beginning and just go with the flow. Do you know? So these already have, these inserts right here already have, or I mean, these pockets already have inserts. So we don't have to worry about those, right? Uh, but here's a pocket here, and this is a pocket right here too, but since I put this one on um, the other way, it was meant to be the other way, meant to be this was supposed to be the spine and this was supposed to be the outside edge, um, you can't really get anything in and out of there. So I'm just going to leave that one, but I am going to do this little pocket here. So I had an idea. This was the other piece, um, not the other piece of this, but this was used somewhere. Um, I didn't even think to go back and look where it was. Oh, here it is. This was cut out from here when we made this window pocket here. So I was thinking about trying to adapt this to fit inside of here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm pretty sure I could probably just make a straight cut. Try to get it as straight as possible. No, that wasn't straight. I guess I could have used my paper trimmer. That's still not straight. <laughs> Let me find something. Here, I know what I can do. I can use my... Oops. Let me use this. And maybe I can get a straight cut this way. Oh, that wasn't too bad. This is a... Where's my ruler? This is a score mat from ScorePal, and these are pen blades that May May had sent me a while back. I will link her shop. I will also link. Um, I also link the shop where I got the paper line. That's pretty darn straight. Pretty darn close. Let's see if I can straighten it up. I will link anything and everything below, and if there's a coupon code, I will link that as well below in the description box. So, let's see. It's darn near an inch. It's a little below, or a little um, shorter than an inch from that point. So, let me just try to match that up a little bit. Okay, let's see if it'll fit. Oops. Yeah, that'll work. It's a little loosey goosey, but that's okay. These have a fancy little feature where you just press down right here and the blade goes back in, so that's pretty cool. There we go. You see how this little thing right here, and then you press it and it pops in so that's kind of a little safety feature so my idea here is once it gets inked and everything I'm thinking about using thinking about using a stamp image and one of these little wood embellishments from this pack it's a lucky dip it says wooden flourish pack tea party I think it says, and it's from Kaiser Craft. I know that's upside down. Um, and a piece of the trim that we sprayed. So I was thinking about doing like something like, like this. And then that's what's gonna be sticking out over here. So that being said, I think I am gonna use a stamp. So this is the stamp set, Vintage F from LDRS Creative, which, by the way, 
There is the 20% off coupon code, Genevieve20, 20% off, LDRS Creative. I will put her link below. Um, so isn't this cute? I don't know if you're going to be able to see them all that well, but they're all like, I love you, happy ever after, to having to hold with affection for someone special, love is patient, love is kind. You know, they're all, they're all lovey, lovey things. So I thought, and I also thought I would stamp this tag here that we stuck right there. So let's see. And maybe even use a, a wood embellishment on this sucker, maybe a teacup over there on the edge or something. So what do I want to stamp here? What I like about having these clear um, sheets and then having the actual what's on the stamp on the back so that you can see, I like that. I like that a lot. So we do with love. That with love would fit there just perfect. Or should we do the whole, um, let's do the with love. So I'm just going to put it onto a stamp block here. I'm going to put it caddy won't. And this is just um, fun foam that I've uh, pieced a couple pieces together. Let me get my stamp pad. And this is the ink I'm using. If y'all been following along, you already know. Distress Oxide Vintage Photo from Ranger. So, like you should actually, you're supposed to ink your stamp, not stamp your ink. It's hard to remember to do that. So I'm going to try to get a good amount of ink on here. And then I'm going to try to wipe off the one, the part that I got around the edges there. I don't guess it would hurt anything. All right, let's try again. All right, so now I'm going to try to line this up. You guys, I'm not the best stamper in the world. Not at all. Probably crooked. I'm gonna press down. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. Let's see how I did. Ah, not that great. But that's okay. I still like it. I know what I could do. This is a water brush. I think it's Tim Holtz. Oh, is it empty? I can't tell if it's empty or not. All right, so I'm just going to go over, since I didn't stamp it very well, I'm just going to go over the word part and just kind of activate that ink. It's not the stamp's fault. The stamps are beautiful, by the way. It's, I'm just not a very good stamper. You know, <laughs> that's just all there is to it. And you know what, this might even look better now that I'm looking at it. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Okay. And then you see where I got the ink? Let's see here. I'm gonna try to make it blend out a little bit. Like I meant to do it, do you know what I mean? I know, what you, I know you know what I mean. I know you do. Let's just want to have it blend out just a little bit. So now you know what you can do when you totally screw up your inking, I mean your stamping. <laughs> That looks pretty cute. I like that. Okay, so let's try let's try stamping on on this tag. Maybe if I flip it over. Let's try stamping on this tag here. And maybe I'll do that long key. I'm just asking for trouble, aren't I? No, because I want to put that teacup. Let's do. I wonder what it would look like. Well. For someone special, and then having the teacup like right underneath it, something like that, or maybe not the teacup, maybe maybe the flower, 
something like this, or I love you. No, that's too big. Happy ever after. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do for someone special. And then we can decide upon the wood embellishment, if any. Ooh, I haven't used this one yet. Oh, goodness. Let's see how this one works out. This Distress Oxide ink, and my pad is getting a little bit dry. So I'm wondering if that has something to do with it. I'm gonna breathe on it. I'm thinking about just putting it right here. Maybe not press so hard. Maybe just a little hard. Oh, that does turned out better. That turned out better if my camera will focus. See? So maybe just don't press so hard. Maybe that's my that was my mistake. I was just pressing too hard. So let me move this and this just for the time being. Whoa. I still want to put, I still want to put something on here. Maybe not. Maybe I won't do a wood embellishment for this one. I just think it's so cute. Oh, look at that. That looks kind of like the steam is coming out of the cup. And it says for someone special. Oh, that's cute. All right, I'm going to stick that down. I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac by Beacon. That's cute. I didn't even plan that, you guys. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back side. Then I'm gonna actually have it coming down further than the tag itself, so it's gonna be sticking out the back. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, so that's gonna go right there. Oh, that is adorable. I love it. You can't really see because I've got it hidden. There we go. See right there. Isn't that cute? Okay. So now I need to ink this sucker up. I really like the way that come out looking like a watercolor look. So I didn't get it on there straight, but oh well. And then I'm going to ink this up. I'm going to do both sides, even though I'm not going to stamp on the back side. I don't know where I was going. Okay, so I'm going to stick this in here like this. All right? Yep, that's what I'm doing. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue along the edge of this trim, this pretty trim. And then I'm just going to kind of offset it. I don't want it right in the middle. I don't want it to be perfect. I might even scoot it down just a hair. And that's crooked. Come on, Jan. Just like that. And then I'm going to put the little teapot right there. Yep. Just a little bit of fabric tuck. Oh gosh, that's adorable. You know what we could do? If we wanted to add a little bit of color to this, what do you guys do? You what do you guys think? Do you want to? We could take my spray that I made, my DIY spray. Just spray a little bit. I'll link that video below. 
spray a little bit onto my little craft mat here and then we can just add some color here and there oh that's cute Oh yeah, look at that. That made it like so much cooler. So much cooler, right? Okay, so now we need to let that dry. So I'm gonna set this aside for now. Somewhere, I'm gonna put it somewhere. Okay, so while the tag I made for that is drying, and that cute, look at that you guys, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, adorable. Okay. So we're gonna wait for that tag to dry before we put it in there. So let's work on this page right here. So this one is tied, and then it's got a double, double door thingy that pulls all the way out, right? Well, it doesn't look like there's anything there, but remember we left this top open for a tag. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that, we have, when we did the spray video, um, I sprayed the whole sheet, and this is page 20, I wrote that down. So I'm thinking we could use this as the tag, kind of like, like that, right, sticking up, and we could do something to the top here. And then, hang on, I'm looking through my, I'm trying to find my stuff here. <laughs> And then I was thinking about, this is from the Build Embellishment Set 1. I was thinking about maybe using this one, like on the edge there. Let's cut it out. Let's see what it's going to look like. So I was thinking about maybe having it like this, right? And having it like just attached at the top. So when you tucked it in, it was like sticking over there or maybe to the side or one of the, one of the sides or something. So I was thinking about doing that and maybe stamping on that inner center part there. And then maybe add some trim or something to it or um, a paper clip. Remember, I've got my paper clips that I made. Um, oh, I don't think I even showed, did I even show you guys that I did that one? This cute little one where I used a banner and um, a paper clip and a, cha a charm. I don't know if I showed you guys that one. I might have just showed you a couple of the little ones. Um, I wonder if a paper clip would be cute. Like there's one of those, maybe not. Maybe we'll save those for some other page. Uh, what about a stick pin? A stick pin. This, this might be cute. Having the Friends Forever stick pin coming out. No, that's too high. Too, too tall. Okay, so maybe I'll just do some lace trim or something. So that's what I'm going to do. So what I think I'm going to do first, I'm going to, I think I'm going to stamp. Stamp the word love on there. It looks like it would fit perfect. Right, and since you can see it, where it's exactly where it's going to be, you can place it just so. So I'm going to stamp it right in the middle. This, this is like an old slide thing. Like, a, you know, a long time ago when you would get like your negatives, they would come on little squares like that. That's what that is. Oh, that's not too bad. I'm not the best stamper, you guys. I'm just not. So let me see, let's go ahead and see if I can fill this in. It might not let me. Oh, it does a little bit, yep. Not the best stamper, but that's okay. It 
doesn't bother me. That's cute. Alright, so let's then go ahead and ink these up. Both sides. Oh, I need to erase page 20 off of it. <laughs> First thing, let's put a little bit of glue on the back of this here. So then we want to add this trim here. And I think what I'll do is I will trim it off clean here. like that. And then I'm going to glue that down just on the top edge here. And I'm going to offset it just a little bit just because just because I can. And then Let's add this sweet little trim here. That's cute. We're gonna have to let that dry too. But here's kind of the here's what I'm thinking. And hopefully it won't mess up too bad. So it's gonna be stuck like that. Alright, so that's what it's gonna look like once it's dry. So let's let's give it a minute to dry because it's still very wet. Okay, so there's another one. How's this other one doing? Whoops. I got the backside in that little pile of ink. That's okay. Oh, this one's dry. So let's go ahead and stick this one. Isn't that cute? I just love that. Let's go ahead and stick this one in here. And so it kind of looks like that. 
That is adorable. I kind of wish it stuck out a little bit more so you can see. You know what I mean? The little teapot. That's cute. So, all right, so we'll leave that one in there, that cute little teapot. Okay, so I think this is dry now, or dry enough. So let's give it a whirl. Let's see if we can get it in this pocket here the way I was intending it to be, like that. I wonder if that's up too high. I feel like that might be up too high. Yeah, that'll work. That's cute. What do you guys think? That looks cute. I still think it might be able to. And even if it, I wonder if it will go down further. Nope, that's as far as it's going to go. So, let's have that love sticking out there. That's cute. Okay. So we got that insert. Tie that back up. And then we got this part over here. And here's some more pieces that have already been, that were already printed out. This is another page 20. We could do the same kind of idea, except maybe not that layered look, right there. And then these two pieces were on that same sheet, the sprayed sheet. Um, these were also on there. So I was thinking about maybe making these little tags here and have them sticking on the side here, but I'm thinking they're too long. So I'm gonna cut them. I'm gonna cut them. They really don't have an up and a down, I don't think. So, let's see if I can do a straight cut again, you guys. <laughs> Good enough. So, so, this is what I was thinking. That's cute. I like that. Alright, so let's go ahead and ink these three pieces up first. You don't really have to do a whole lot. Once you, once we've done so much embellishing with the pages that all of these extra little things aren't as hard to do because... They don't have to be fully decorated. So did you guys like, you know, doing all of that stuff? One video at a time, like one page at a time? Did you guys like that? I think y'all liked that. Um, to see a more completed look, you know, in the video versus waiting to the end. I think you guys liked it. I liked it. But I don't think I'll be able to do that with every type of album that I make. But with this one, it was perfect. Okay, so there's those two. Now let me get this. And this is the one, this is the Harley script. So we used the other pieces that were on this page for something else in the album. I was going to try to use up all the bits and pieces that I printed off throughout this album when we did the insert. So, and you don't even have to match anything if you don't really want to. So, let's see. So, the first thing I want to do with these two, I think I'm going to make them um, like a tag. Let me find my. Um, I, um, I colored these whole reinforcements with the Distress Oxide ink. So I'm going to stick one there, I'm just guessing, and I'm going to stick one there, and then I'm going to take my office hole punch, wherever that is, po poke a hole there, poke a hole here, and then I'm going to flip them over and put another one on the back side. There's one. There's one. Right. So then maybe maybe we should use some seam binding. That seam binding that we um, colored. Maybe we should use some of that. Um, let's see what it looks like. I've got so much ink and glue on my fingers. I'm trying to get these all recorded so we can so we can start the next one. Yeah, I like that. It'd be cute if we could add something to this. All right, let's do this one.
Oh, I know what we could do. You guys, I think I'm losing my mind. I'm just, I come up, <laughs> I come up, I just keep seeing, I could just keep adding and adding and adding, I think. I just love this mini album so much. Okay, so we got that. So then I'm thinking about using these garment pins here. These are Tim Holtz. I got them at Hobby Lobby. And making, um, and adding them to the, whoops. Oh, I'll mess with that in a minute. Right, and adding them to the, I may have put the hole too far back. Let's see what it does. Whoops, went through the, and which way would I want it if I had it on there? All right, let's think about this for a second. I see the glue all over my fingers? Gross. All right, let's see. So if I did that, I could add a little charm on the end there. That might be kind of cute. What charm should I add? I'm not even paying attention to the color of these. Pen Oop. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I did there, but I didn't have it closed. Now right, let's show this again. There we go. If you hear any weird noises, it's storming here. So, all right, let me find my all my charms that I have here. Okay. I don't want to use that same one. Whoa. I could use one of these little charms. Maybe not those. Maybe these. Maybe I'll do this one. Y'all know how great I am with jewelry. I can use that one and... Can't really, they should have done a different color packaging. You can't really see the color of the charms. That's blue. That's red. It's green. Well, maybe I'm. Maybe I will use one of these. <laughs> I'll use one of each. The dark green one. Yeah. So I got these charms at I don't remember Hobby Lobby or Joann's or someplace like that. Michaels. I think it's Hobby Lobby. But I showed you those in my stick pin video. Oh, you know what? I don't need those. If I just unhook it, let's just unhook it <laughs> and go that route. That route. So let's stick that one on there and snap it back and twist it back around. So this trick I saw Nick the booksmith do. Well, come on. There we go. And I thought that was just brilliant. So there's one. So cute. And then here's the other. Let's not twist it around. Let's leave it where it's at. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. You guys see that? Okay, so these two. I don't know how I don't know which way I want to put them. They're so cute. Whoop. There we go. I don't even care where they land as long as they're not hidden. Yeah, I like it. Oh, I better trim some of this off just a little bit. A little long. So those are cute. All right, so now what are we gonna do with this one? I wish I'd have stamped something there beforehand. All right, I feel like, 
feel like that needs, what does that need? This would be too much. The doily, the big wooden doily would be too much. That'd be too much. But I kind of feel like it needs something right there, don't you? I think so. How about, um, no. Let's see. What else do I have? Paperclip. Where's my little paperclip that I had? You guys have so much stuff out. And then maybe I could do a couple tags. That's a good idea. Let's see. Since we've got so many danglies, why not add some more danglies? Except this one would be dangling um, along the top there. You know what I mean? So. That one's backwards. That's why, that's why it looks funny. There we go. Potentially, it might even stand straight up. So if it goes in like that, so okay. Let me look through all of my stash of already cut things and see what would look cute with this tag. Okay, I think what I'm going to do. This is one of the um, Poker Doodles images that I've used. Don't ask me which one because it was already cut apart. But I think I'm going to use this little tag here from the Build Embellishment set one. We're just going to do like a little layered look. I think. I think that'd be cute. I love these type of tags that are like jagged on one end. You could tear it instead of doing this. So this was what I'm thinking. I maybe even have that. Something like this. What do you think? We might even stamp, or we could just leave it like that, since we do have a lot going on on this page, because of our cute little tags. So we could just ink everything up, and we could leave it like that. I like it, that's cute. Okay. Ink everything up on both sides, because these are not gonna be attached. I think I already inked that one up. Like this here. No, we, oh! <laughs> my little, my oldest puppy dog, she's saying she's hungry. Or she's yelling for Lane, who's not home yet. <laughs> or she hears me talking. I'm like, excuse me? She probably can't hear me talking. She can't hear anything. Bless her heart. She's hollering for me. Okay. So that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I can even, like, have that dangle down that way. Let's see what that looks like. We could, we could stamp on there if we want to, but, um, I don't know. I don't know. I think in the flower and this flower just aren't meshing well. Let's see what else I've got. Okay, so I think I decided just to have those three tags just in there with noth nothing um, on top because I felt like maybe it was just too much, but I like the look of the tags in there. So I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave it just like that. So how many have we done? We've done one, two, three. So I think what we'll do is we'll call this video done for now and then I will do another video and do a few more pages, if not all. It just depends on how long it takes me. <laughs> My puppy needs me. So um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit this little subscribe button right here. And check out the other videos you see on the screen. And don't forget to let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys later.